This is CBBS on YouTube. Find even more fun and games for your child at the CBBS website. The following content is intended for our CBBS grown-ups audience. Show me the number that's one more than six. I've been a primary school teacher for over 20 years, and I know that children learn best when they're having fun and they're engaged in what they do. What's the number that comes after number six? Seven. It's seven. number seven. seven. Playing games is a great way to encourage your child to learn, because it's as if maths is one great big adventure out there waiting for them. By playing fun everyday games with your child, you will help them to recognise numbers with confidence and understand their value. Numbers are everywhere, and going for a walk, or even popping down to the shops, you can create an opportunity to look for numbers. Why not make giant numbers in the air? Or together, you could even draw large numbers in the sand. Down the middle. A line down the middle. Children can come to school already knowing the numbers. But it's not just about knowing the numbers, it's knowing what these numbers mean. The Tower of Cups is a great game to play with your child to encourage them to see the link between the number and its value. What you can do is you can show your child a number and then they build that Tower of Cups. Hey. Right, on the couch. Make finding numbers an exciting game by having a number hunt. Write some numbers on bits of paper and hide them around the room. See if your child can find all of the different numbers. And each time they find one, ask them to shout that number out loud. Five. Well done. Once you think your child has got it, put them to the test. Why don't you give them a number but actually say a wrong number to see if they can really tell you the right answer. What you doing? I'm painting by numbers. These Num Tums episodes are all about number recognition. Num Tum picture has numbers all over it. Wow! And each number tells you which colour to paint where. Here are some top tips for number recognition. Spot numbers and count together when you're out and about. Draw or make giant numbers together. Hide numbers and have a numbers hunt. Help your child understand the link between numbers and their value by making a Tower of Cups. By playing fun everyday games, help your child to learn how to count up and down. By doing this, your child will realise that numbers have a set order. You can do this by counting up and down steps and stairs. Or by pretending to be a rocket. One, two, or even by singing well-known nursery rhymes. Once I caught a fish alive. Here are some top tips for counting up and down. Practice counting up and down steps and stairs. Pretend to be a rocket counting down to blast off. Sing counting nursery rhymes. Once your child can count up and down, why not see if they can order the numbers? Should I do number 12? Yes! Jumble them up, then ask your child to put them in the right order for you. And if you go to the CBB's website and search for the Num Tums games, you and your child will have a blast putting these rubber ducks into the right order. So, by playing fun everyday games with your child, you will help them to recognise numbers and their value. Learn how to count up and down. By doing this, your child will realise that numbers have a set order and order numbers from 1 to 10. By reordering numbers, your child shows that they understand number order. Find out when we add new clips and build a playlist especially for your child by subscribing for free to the CBeebies YouTube channel.